Welcome back, Mighty Mamas, and welcome if you are new. I am so happy to be back here for you and bringing you my brand new series called Cleaning Your House While Living with Anxiety and Depression. This is day one right here, and we are going to start cleaning up the mess of anxiety and depression. We are going to start taking back control of the mess in our homes, cleaning them up one mess at a time, and getting ahead of it all. I don't know about you, mama, but 2020 really kicked me down. I am currently crawling out of a deep, dark depression that I realized in December I actually was pretty depressed and I just need to pull myself out and I decided for the new year I wanted to get back control of the mess in my home and clean up my anxiety and depression. And I wanna share that journey right here with you for you. So let me just ask you, do you live with anxiety and depression and cannot find the motivation to clean your house because of your anxiety and depression, because you have no motivation, because you are just completely exhausted outside of the motherhood duties that are so demanding that you just have nothing more to give. I want to help pull you out of the mess of all the clutter that you feel buried under right now. I want to help you get organization in your home. I want to help you declutter and clean out all of the anxiety and depression once and for all because this is the journey that I am on. So please subscribe if you are one who also lives with anxiety and depression and you lack that cleaning motivation and you just feel like you are stuck and you are failing and your house is out of control. I wanted to show you the truth behind living with anxiety and depression. Right here, I am showing you my ugly truth and let me tell you, I am so ashamed of just how messy my house is but I need to keep it raw and real with you guys as I always do. And so I am here to share this journey with you of cleaning my way out of anxiety and depression and just getting back control of the mess in my home, cleaning up one mess at a time. And I wanna take you along with me so that I can be here for you. If I can do it, you can do it. So if you're ready to get cleaning your house while living with anxiety and depression, then please subscribe. I promise you it will be life-changing. So first and foremost, I just want to really thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here right now. And if you're a true blue, you know that I started this journey back two years ago and I was doing really, really good up until after COVID hit and our whole lives were flipped upside down because our kids were, you know, with us 24 seven when we weren't used to that which there's so much that goes along with that but the e-learning becoming teachers becoming full-time chefs like around the clock like at least we had our breaks mamas when the kids were in school all day oh how i miss those days but i want to help you gain back control of the mess in your house by sharing with you my journey of doing it myself because i know all too well the struggle of living with anxiety and depression and i want so badly to have the most clean and organized home i mean for those of you who don't know i am actually a perfectionist and i have ocd I was literally diagnosed with OCD. And looking at this video right now, you probably are asking yourself like, how can she be a perfectionist? How could this person have OCD and be with this mess? Well, those are things I'm gonna touch on later in the series as well as anxiety and depression because it kind of goes hand in hand and it's actually a really vicious cycle and you would think that being a perfectionist, everything would be in perfect order. But the truth is, that's not always the case with perfectionism. Perfectionism can actually backfire and work against you and hold you back from doing the things that you want so badly to be perfect. So anyways, let's just call it imperfectly perfect. That's what my life is. And I am definitely proud to say I'm a messy mama, but I am not proud of this mess in my home because I just feel that I know I could do better than this. And that's the thing, when you could step back and you can evaluate your own life and say, am I living the best life that I can? Am I being the best version of myself as a homemaker or as a 
mother of my children, providing them a happy, clean home environment that they can remember back and feel safe and warm and comfortable and happy in. I honestly don't feel like I'm doing the best that I can. And so I realized that and that was a hard pill for me to swallow because I never struggled with, you know, homemaking and having the perfect home. I never struggled with that before I had kids. So after having kids, you throw kids in the mix and your whole life gets turned upside down, but in many good ways as well. But it's just a totally different ball game. And, you know, with that being said, I did suffer postpartum depressions through all three of my babies and it was hard. I just always felt like I had to play catch up after having a baby. And so here I am once again in this vicious cycle, this spiral of a complete disaster of a house and I am done. So I hope that you are ready to join me and say you are done. You are done. Enough is enough because that is the first step. And let's just talk about getting started. Okay. Because it, when you look at like your home and it's a total wreck and you just are already overwhelmed and you're having anxiety or you're trying to dig your way out of a depression like I am, how do we even get started? It's so easy to be like, oh, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to lay on the couch. I'm just going to skate by this day. But that's the thing. Like, number one, you have to really be done with that. And I am done. I want to live life. I want to seize every waking moment of my life because we all know life is so short. I mean, I cannot even believe we are already here in 2021. The new year has begun and you guys will be seeing this video in February. I actually started filming everything in January. That was when I decided I'm taking back control of my life. I, you know, I want to share this journey with you guys. And um, I started doing filming. So you guys will see here that I'm taking Christmas stuff down. Um, but I did do that in January. So it was more like mid January when I did this. Um, so these are all pre filmed videos that I kind of batch filmed before um, editing and posting. I was just waiting till you know, I kind of felt that internal energy come back where I could keep up with my weekly uploads because I will be posting one video a week. I honestly cannot promise you a specific day of the week, but I promise you it will be once a week. So at least within every seven days, it may come earlier. It may come on the seventh day, but um, this video, I think you will be seeing it on a Saturday or Sunday when this series begins. So anyways, my point is, is what is the whole thing about getting started? We're always usually reluctant to start because we're overwhelmed by the mess. So my advice to you, what, what I have done in this journey is I decided I'm not going to wake up and be like, I have to do this or I have to say, oh, I have this to do that, to do that, to do. No. Fortunately, I'm a stay-at-home mom, so when I wake up, I have a choice. I can choose whatever I feel, whatever I'm in the mood to clean, and cleaning is my therapy. I genuinely love to clean and organize. Like That is something I will choose to do on a hobby level outside of being with my family because I it just... It just makes me feel so good inside. And, you know, cleaning is my therapy and it has been since I've been a young child, which I'm going to also touch on down the road in this series. So please make sure you're subscribed. And if this sounds like something for you, if you're, you know, falling underneath the pile of clutter and disorganization and you are just being boggled down with your anxiety and depression then this is definitely the series for you so make sure you subscribe because i want to help you i am here for you and we can get through this together we can clean up our anxiety and depression together that's what we're going to do we're going to take back control and we're going to feel happy again because the truth is our children deserve to have moms who are happy moms that are not stressed out and you know aggravated or irritated because i am guilty of that i'll be straight up the you know overwhelm and stress from the mess of my home there's actually a scientific study that was done that says that clutter 
is prone to raising cortisol levels in women, which cortisol is a hormone that it's a stress hormone. And so high levels of cortisol mean high levels of stress. So um, there's actually a correlation to clutter and disorganization in the home and living around that and how it actually does um, increase cortisol levels in women. So um, I'm ready to take those cortisol levels down, if you know what I mean. So if this sounds like something that is going to help you, then please subscribe, click that notification bell because you don't wanna miss everything I have coming your way. I promise you, this is gonna truly be life-changing. It has been already for me. And like I said, when you're seeing this, I'll already be a couple months into my journey. So I'm just telling you, this this is all, nothing but good things are gonna come from this. So anyways, being reluctant to start, that is totally normal. So my best advice for you to get started is to just, you know, go with your feeling what are you in the mood to clean have your coffee and like you may just want to fold some laundry today so go ahead switch that load or rewash that load that's been sitting in there for a couple days because you know we all do that and then you know rerun the dryer a couple minutes get them warm get the wrinkles out start folding that load and go put it away do not be like me and put the piles in baskets uh, the folded laundry in the bottom of your closet. Just go put it away. Don't end up turning it into a complete disaster where you have to take care of the mess I am going to have to take care of in my closet and in my bedroom, as you've seen in the beginning of this video. Um, that I have is so much coming your way, guys. So seriously, like we are gonna clean this house. But definitely, like just go on a whim. Go with your feeling. That's my best advice for you because that's how I've been you know, doing it throughout this journey. And it's so stressful to be like, oh, I have all this to do and to think about that. And that's gonna actually, you know, deter you from wanting to get up and start cleaning. So like if there's anything, if it's paperwork, it could just be something totally unusual. Even if you have a pile of dishes on the counter and even if your bathrooms need to be clean, even if the laundry is piled up, if you are in the mood that day to just go through paperwork that still needs to be done, then do that. Don't feel like, oh, I can't do that because I have to do dishes and I have to do the laundry first. No, either way, this is all mess in your home that needs to be taken care of. So my best advice to you is just get started with something that interests you, that you know, you're know you motivated to actually do because I believe the key to any big results is momentum and how do we gain momentum by taking that first baby step so if something's going to draw you in to take that first initial step towards the big result then just do it because that's what i do i swear there have been times my husband's like why are you doing that when we have like all these dishes in the sink and i'm like because i'm just not in the mood and i want to do this so that is actually how I'm going to be cleaning my house and that is how I'm going to be sharing it with you guys throughout this series. So there is no like particular order I'm going to clean my home. It's going to be really a lot different than other cleaning channels because I may start a room but may not finish it within that one video. I may pick up in that room and continue in the next video. That's what I love about this series is that I don't have to stress myself out anymore about worrying about getting everything done for the video and that is also a big part of why i took you know another break away from youtube is because i just how was i going to take order in my home and clean up my home and worry about youtube it was just too much i needed to first step back and focus on myself and just getting my own self put together as far as my mental and you know getting myself more motivated and getting the energy level up before I started to throw the camera in the mix. So it did take me a couple weeks before I was able to film but that's what I decided to do because 
it's just sometimes, you know, when we're going through this journey of crawling our ways out of dark depressions, we only have so much energy to give in that day outside of being a mom and taking care of kids and, and all the things that motherhood entails. And if you're a mom, you know what I'm saying. There's all those little unspoken moments in the day that really soak up a lot of our energy. And we're only given so much energy in one day. So you do what you can do and don't beat yourself up about it. Any progress in your home is good progress. It's better than doing nothing at all. It's better than saying, oh no, that's too big of a project. I'm not even gonna start that because I can't finish that, so I'm gonna sit on the couch. So that's something I really wanted to stress to you because being a perfectionist, that's actually one thing that backfires on you with being a perfectionist like myself is that you want to be able to do it all in one day and you want to get it done all perfectly and if you know you don't even have the time in that day or the energy in that day then you're going to most likely say well no i'm not going to do that i'm going to save that for a different day but that's what i want to stop right now i'm no longer going to live like that i'm no longer going to let my perfectionism get in the way along with my anxiety and depression I am just going to start, you know, doing one step at a time, sorting through piles, cleaning up messes. And if I finish it in that day, that's great. But if I don't, I can pick up where I left off the next day. So that's my best advice to you if you are reluctant to start. And um, so that is how I will be bringing you all of my cleaning videos uh, throughout this series. So don't be alarmed if like at the end of the video it cuts off and I didn't show you like the room is clean or the result because it may not always end that way just because of the fact that I wasn't able to finish that day. But I want to stay consistent with my weekly uploads. So this is a process and that's why subscribing and joining me on this journey is really going all in and waiting for that next video to continue from where I left off if that is the case or you know, just to continue on to the next space in my home. So that's the whole idea of this journey of taking back control of the mess in our home cleaning up one mess at a time, but doing it at your own pace where you don't become overwhelmed and deterred from cleaning or reluctant to even get started. So just know that it's real. The struggle is real. I am there with you. I can say all these things, but this is going to be hard work. I am not going to lie. This is hard work and you have to really want it. And like I said, I am ready. I am done. I said enough is enough. I want to get back control of my life. Spring is around the corner. We have to get into that deep cleaning, spring cleaning soon too. So we need to get rid of all the clutter and get rid of all the mess. And I also have those videos coming for you guys too. I have so much to share along this journey. We're going to go from transforming our homes from cluttered, chaotic messes into beautiful, organized, clean, airy spaces. That is my end goal for this journey. And then I'm going to take it even further and I'm going to share my home projects with all of you because if you can see around my house, I have a lot of unfinished spaces. You'll see different color walls painted. You'll see pieces of my trim missing here and there. I don't have a door on my pantry. There's a lot going on. I know. Believe me, I am not blind to it. It's just that I started home renovations uh was before covid i think i did something during covid i think i did my front entryway uh makeover during covid uh 2020 um but i don't know maybe it was before that either way i have a video you could go back and check that out it's um i think there's also a playlist on like all my different home projects that i did but yes, I have a lot more of that coming your way too. So I really just wanted to give you guys an idea of what to expect in this series. And if this sounds like something that you think you can benefit from and that I can help you with, then please subscribe. Click the notification bell because the bell will tell you when my next upload comes out. And like I said, I can't promise a specific day. So you won't know what day that will be. It, it could be any day of the week. So having that bell and you have to do all notifications. I know there's like, I think two or three options. So make sure you check the bell and then the drop down list will give you the option to click all. And uh, yeah, so, you know, we're just going to 
become better homemakers at the end of this series. And so, hey, it's a win-win. And speaking of homemaking, I have to mention my best friend, Ellie. Um, if you guys are not following her already, you have to go give her a follow over on Instagram. It is at do it all with Ellie over on IG. She also has a awesome podcast called The Blossom Homemaker. And she is just so wise beyond her years, you guys. She is like the queen of homemaking. She just does it with so much grace and class and She's super organized and she lives um, a minimalistic lifestyle, in my opinion, and I love it because I am a home decor addict. That is my problem. And that's where a lot of my clutter comes from. So I really need to, at some point, dive into my home decor and figure out what I really need to keep, what I don't. Maybe I can do a garage sale with it. But this is what I love about Ellie is that she lives such a very simple life, but her homemaking skills are just out of this world. Like she is so much younger than me, but I have so much that I can and am learning from her. So definitely check her out. She also has a uh, e-course, a homemaking e-course, which I did start, but because of my depression, I didn't put any time into myself, which I can't wait to start going back into reading that again um, and really following along on her e-course. I think I made it to chapter two, but um, it starts off with setting the tone in your home and uh, you guys, that just says it all. So we need to really set the tone in our home, as Ellie would say. And, um, you know, that starts by decluttering the mess and just getting rid of the chaos in our home and getting order and getting organized and getting clean and having clean spaces because you know stress comes from mess and um it's funny because I actually have a t-shirt shop uh, it's an Etsy shop and I sell t-shirts and um a lot of it are mom related quotes that I put on there and one of my quotes is don't stress over the mess and I actually have a couple t-shirts with that quote on it so um if you guys can go give me a follow on my business account over on IG it's at mighty mama power and go check out my Etsy shop called mighty mama power you guys will find some really cute teas over there. Um, I also have one that says cleaning is my therapy. And um, I also have my famous quote, which when I started this journey a couple years back, I actually have it listed under my bio in IG, my IG account, Mighty Mama. I, I have two IG accounts. Mighty.mama is my you know personal account that goes hand in hand with this channel. And then my business account for my Etsy shop is Mighty Mama Power. So um, anyways, I this one quote that I live by and it just it's kind of like the motivation behind starting this channel is never judge a mom by the mess. So I have a t-shirt that says that too, if you guys like that quote, um, but never judge a mom by the mess. You guys, that is so important because us moms, we strive to always like be so perfect. And we always have a tendency to beat ourselves up or feel like failures if we're not doing something as good as another mom that we see, which is the bad thing about social media is that there is a lot of comparing and I've done it myself. I've compared myself to others and you, you know, feel less than because somebody else is doing it better than you or you just, you know what I'm talking about, put it that way. So the thing about never judge a mom by the mess is I have to remind myself of my own quote is I'm not going to judge myself over this mess. This mess does not define me. This does not mean that I am a pig or that I am dirty or that I am a hoarder or that I am a failure. No, none of those things are true. So if you've been telling yourself that lately, that is not true. You are not a failure. You are not dirty. You are not a loser None of those things are true. That's the lie, the lie that the enemy wants to tell you. And um, you just have to fight through it. And you have to remember, never judge a mom by the mess. So never judge yourself by the mess. The mess does not define you. We can always clean up the mess. We just need to really, you know, get on our two feet and get our houses in order. And you're going to do it. You're going to do it with me through the series. I'm going to do it. We're going to do it together. 
we got this mama so make sure you're subscribed because we are gonna transform our homes into beautiful clean organized spaces together and we're gonna clean up our anxiety and depression once and for all and we're gonna develop new healthy habits to keep moving forward and build on to those strengths so if you're ready to get clean in your house with anxiety and depression then let's get going together right now crank my music i got a few good songs i'm going to add in this video and i'm not going to talk any longer because i'm sure i've talked your ear off by now um, but i really just wanted to touch base on what to expect in this series and i hope that you know my words are hitting home for you and just already helping you to think more positive and get you motivated to clean your house let's jam out with my music drink your coffee and let's get cleaning the rest of this together i have all this Christmas stuff to put away and I had to go through the kids um, homeschooling corner which was a total disaster so there was just a lot to do and that's what I'm focusing in on in this video and I also ended up rearranging some furniture because I love rearranging furniture I like to you know change things around because I get bored easy so I just thought I'd throw that in there but yep yeah, let's jam on it let's do it I'm somewhere in the middle Try to find myself again But life is one big riddle Of the future and what's been Cause it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff and trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm on I got it, I got it Go, go, go Running to better times Go, go, go From my emotions out Go, go, go Running to better times 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 Remember I was laughing In all the photos that you took But now it looks like acting Like we were fiction in a book Cause it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I'm leaving all the bad and trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm alone I got it, I got it
through the grave.